Hey guys! Well, I am packed up and I am getting ready to leave the Chiricahua National Monument area. I've been staying at Bonita Canyon Campground, a National Forest Service campground here on, at the National Monument. Uh, what a cool place this is. If you want to check out my last video, I show you around. I did a hike on the Echo Canyon Loop Trail, which was amazing. And uh, if you like hiking, you definitely need to watch that one and make sure to come here. <laughs> I'm headed east today. Uh, I'm going to get out back on I-10, which is quite a drive just to get there because this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, get on I-10, head east, and I'm going to Rock Hound State Park today. Um, got a few stops to make along the way. And... It should be a nice day. I'm on my way. All right, I got a little bit of groceries done. I got some vegetables, some bananas. Didn't find a lot of things I was hoping to find. I might have to stop for groceries again here soon. Uh, <laughs> I did not see one single thing in there that was labeled organic in the vegetable section or the fruit. I don't know if they're against it or if I missed a whole section, but yeah, maybe it just doesn't sell here. I'm spoiled, I guess. Um, I'll look at another store in a few days. I got enough to get me by for a little bit. site. <laughs> the campground is Rockhound State Park and it's just south of Deming, New Mexico. And the big draw to this campground, not, not only because it's convenient right off, right near I-10, uh, but the big draw is that you can go rock hounding here. They have trails where you can actually take a shovel and dig for like geodes and thunder eggs and that sort of thing here in the mountains. I have watched some videos and people do seem to be finding things here. So that'll be interesting. You can take, I think it said up to 15 pounds of uh, rock. So of course rock are heavy, so that's not a lot, but it's enough. I mean, gosh, uh, it's a nice little campground, very clean, well-maintained. The camp post seemed to be very much on the ball. Um, when I got here, the site was completely raked out. And then they drove me up to the site and they went over the rules. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're on the ball. They're doing a good job, I think. I haven't gone up to the restrooms or anything like that yet. Um, I've got my groceries put away. <laughs> it's nice to have some veggies. I was starting to get low. And uh, I'm not sure if I can do a fire here or not. I know it's very windy out right now. Um, they do have a, a nice fire pit. And let me show you the campsite real quick. Um, I'll just kind of voice over what, what it looks like because it is so windy. It will be horrible for the audio. The fire pit's over in the corner. Nice covered picnic table. It's kind of nice, this rock wall that goes around. It uh, kind of breaks the wind a little bit. It's electric and water, and it's a huge site, as you can see. Um, I had to back kind of in a catty corner angle, kind of to the electric box, because I only have a 25 foot electric cord. They're somewhat private. This one is anyway. I'm at site 16 and the view is just awesome. <laughs> Look at this. The 
So tonight I am probably just going to get a bite to eat and I'm not going to do a whole lot, but in the morning I'm looking forward to getting out on those trails. Headed out on a hike. It's windy and it's chilly, but I think the wind will be nice once I warm up. <laughs> it's the Thunder Egg Trail. Keeping my eyes out for rattlesnakes. Haven't seen any yet. <laughs> pretty up here. Um, it's about a 1.1 mile trail and it loops around back toward the campground area. There's supposed to be a spur trail where a lot of people go to look for the thunder eggs. So I'm looking for that. I have to say, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I think the thunder eggs are supposed to be somewhat rounded in shape. And I don't know where that spur is. <laughs> Maybe it'll become obvious when I go a little further. This shovel I have is pretty much useless. <laughs> It's funny, <laughs> at what point do you stop digging? <laughs> it's like you feel like as soon as you stop, you're gonna miss what's there. But uh, I'm gonna head back down to the main trail and walk a little further. They encourage you to walk off trail here, but there are spiny things everywhere. <laughs> I love the color and the lichens on these rocks. And look at the striation on this one. It's neat. All right, watch closely here. I come just a few feet of stepping on this rattlesnake. It did eventually move on. <laughs> well, I'm not having much luck, but I am having fun. <laughs>
there's plant labels throughout here on this trail, but a lot of the things are dry right now. <laughs> I'd love to come back here during a different part of the year. There are all these benches all along this path where you can stop and rest, have a snack. <laughs> no shade though. It is really hot out here. Um, I think I brought plenty of water. <laughs> but yeah, if you come out here, make sure you bring plenty of water. And although I'm not finding anything because, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still enjoying this hike. And there are so many beautiful rocks out here. I mean, I could collect a bunch of little rocks just for jewelry, you know, which I probably will take a few home. Gonna keep going. <laughs> And there's the campground. I'm at the other end of the trail now. Now if I wanted to go up that way a half mile, that's the Jasper Trail and it goes over to the visitor center. And I may do that, but not right now. I'm headed back to camp. some rock <laughs> which is getting heavy <laughs> I'm going to go down to the visitor center and check out their that nature display they have there um, it'll probably even be air conditioned in there <laughs> I set my picnic table up a little bit I put rocks on the tablecloth to keep it from blowing away got my griddle out because I'm hoping if it's not too, too windy, to make burritos. I'm thinking black bean burritos with cactus and peppers. Unfortunately, the avocado is not ripe yet, but maybe like a tomatillo salsa. I don't know, I'm getting hungry, so I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Very nice displays in there. Nice staff. The displays were very informative, interesting. They didn't have much in the way of souvenirs though. <laughs> so no magnet, no sticker. <laughs> the only magnets they had were New Mexico magnets and they didn't say anything about the park or rock hounding. <laughs> It's a little trek to get here though from the campground. <laughs> Cow's tongue prickly pear. <laughs> You can see why by the shape of the leaves. I thought I'd check out their little botanical garden on my way back to camp. It's, it's nice. It's dry out here though. I bet depending on what time of year it is, you get to see more than other times of year. So I'm going to make a little salsa using tomatillos, tomatoes, and I've got jalapeno and celery already minced up in here, and some onion. I think I'm going to use scallions 
and maybe yellow or red onions. So I've added cayenne pepper, coriander, paprika, oregano, lots of black pepper, salt, and a little bit of chipotle powder. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit and get the veggies ready for the grill. And it is getting windier out there. Oh, and I'm gonna add lime and cilantro to this also. All right, I have the griddle heating. And I'm going to be adding some napolitas, cherry tomatoes, poblano peppers, some frozen corn that I had, red bell pepper, and zucchini, and onion. And then I have the salsa. And then also some black beans. All right, so I've added chili mix, black pepper, and some Himalayan sea salt. It smells so good. <laughs> Everything's done but the tortilla. Got black beans, the veggies, which look and taste delicious. I've been grabbing a snack I'm definitely gonna have to eat it with a fork. <laughs> but man, it's gonna be good. Yep, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> and it's gonna take me longer to clean up than it did to cook. It was really good though. The van, oh my gosh, it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I got my work cut out for me <laughs> good morning guys <laughs> so last night this max air fan I have two of them in here and this one decided to give me what they call the green light of death <laughs> it started alarming I didn't know what it was because I've never heard that thing alarm before so it took me a second, I realized that, that the light was flashing up there and then it went solid when it stopped, but uh, I messed, it. then it wouldn't do anything. So then I messed with it a little bit. Um, I got Kevin on the phone, <laughs> fortunately, um, and he was able to kind of look some things up and it sounds like there's a problem with maybe the circuit board, but uh, I didn't want it sounding off again because I took the fuse out, put the fuse back in, and it seemed like it was working okay. But then when I started pressing the, the reverse button and, um, yeah, I pressed the reverse button and it uh, immediately affected it and started the set, the alarm started sounding again. So I uh, took the fuse out for good <laughs> till I can figure it out because I did not want it sounding during the middle of the night waking up the whole campground. Um, but you know, I hardly ever turn this fan on. I'll turn it on briefly, but most of the time I open that up and the fan in the front, because I have it drawing out, 
this will draw the air in and creates plenty of circulation and I don't really have to have this one on as much so I'll be fine and then get it worked out when I'm back in Florida um, I think we're gonna have to probably replace that circuit board hopefully that's all and not have to replace the whole fan like I said it does work it's just there's something going on where it's confused with the buttons or whatever and we'll get it figured out if any of you guys know you know we welcome suggestions by the time you guys see this video we may have it figured out already um and I'll of course let you guys know that if that's the case um that was fun <laughs> <laughs> Today is my last day here at Rockhound State Park. Um, I have good cell service here, so I'm going to use this day to try and get a, a video edited and uploaded. Um, so it's just going to be kind of a relaxing day. It's a great park. I, I think it, it's very well maintained. They have really nice showers and a uh, restroom area. The visitor center's informative and nice um i definitely recommend anyone in this area to stop in and if you like rock counting definitely check it out i'm gonna have to uh, see what i have um, from my rock counting excursion because when i went to the gift shop or visitor center a lot of what i have looks like it could you know if i cut it be pretty inside you know when i was out there i didn't know what i was doing i, I should have gone to the the visitor center first but i couldn't because well i guess i could have but um when i got here it was closing and when i got up that morning i wanted to get out on the trail early and the gift shop didn't open till 10 so i ended up going after but uh yeah i may have something worth worth looking at and i'll have to cut them open and show you guys if, it, if there's something to see. <laughs> There's such pretty rocks on their own though. Maybe I should just leave them. I mean, I like them as they are. So maybe I'll just always wonder. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But it was fun, how, you know, hounding for them. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't already. Uh, also, I'm on Patreon. You can go there and support me if you'd like. Uh, I w am going to be leaving here and headed a little further into the center part of New Mexico. And uh, that should be fun and lots to see in the next video. Bye.